Good morning, Legacy. Hi, I'm Julie, and today is Monday, September 24th. It's officially fall. The first day of fall was last Friday. That's better. Hi, everybody. I'm Tanner, and we have a lot of great information for you today. Remember, our character trait for September is respect. The definition for respect is showing others they are important by what you say and do. The verse for respect is from First Peter. It says, show proper respect to everyone. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Get ready for some news you can use. Grandparents' Day is almost here. It's this Friday. Remember, you don't need to wear a chapel dress on Friday. That's right, Julie. So you don't have to wear it on Wednesday this week. But that's just this week only due to grandparents today. See you at the pool is this Wednesday. Students will meet at the flagpole on the football field at 7.30 a.m. to pray for our country and school. If you come, then make sure to bring a parent with you. Hope to see you there. Do you love corn dogs? What about Big Tex? Do you even know what I'm talking about? I do, Mary Grace. The State Fair of Texas opens this Friday. I love the fair. I can't wait to go. If you go to the fair, send us a picture of you eating a corn dog, standing in front of Big Tex, or anything else you'd love to do at the fair, and we'll put it on the show. Legacy Homecoming is this week, October 8th through 12th, and there are lots of fun things planned. One thing you know for sure is We'll be having a homecoming parade here at school. Yep, and we'll be bringing you more information as we get it. That's it for the news. Time to look at the weather report. It feels like, is it going to feel like fall? Not yet. We have more days ahead and then with highs in the low 90s. Guess we'll just have to wait for some cooler weather. I think you're right, Tanner, but at least there's no rain in the forecast. Looks really nice. That's it for the weather. Are, Are you ready, ready for, for some, some legacy, legacy sports? sports? It's time for some legacy football. This Friday, we play Irving Highlands at 7.30. It's a home game, so you should come out and cheer our guys on to victory. Yeah, you should really come. We have so much more sports going on at Legacy. There's cross-country track, junior high football, junior high volleyball, and varsity volleyball. To keep up with the latest sports news, be sure to check out the Legacy website. Let's go Eagles! Finally, the Buzz on Books is coming up. Mrs. Hamilton is coming to bring you all the latest library news. Our All-Star Book Fair is coming. I'm so excited. It starts on Friday. We will have the book fair in the gym. Now just the gym on Friday for you to be able to come shopping with your grandparents. We moved the book fair this year to the gym for your grandparent for Grandparents' Day so it won't be so crowded. We want you to have lots of room to shop with your grandparents. Our grandparents are all stars. I cannot wait to meet them. You have to make sure you introduce me to them. We will even have a big gold trophy that you can take your picture with with your grandparent. Book fair will only be open this Friday from 1030 to 12. After that, we're going to have to move the book fair back to the library for you guys to come shopping with with your class next week. No after school shopping on Friday. 
If you get caught reading anywhere in the school during book fair week, you will get a ticket that says you got caught reading and you can come put it in the drawing box in the library. It could be anybody, Mrs. Stratton, the coaches, anybody. At the end of the week, Mrs. Hunt and I will draw five names out of the box to see who won a free book. We will also have, guess how many gumballs are in the jar and a book covered that, and you can't see how many pages are in it and you have to guess how many. The closest guessers will win a prize. My favorite part about this fall is that we can donate extra money to buy our sweet friends from Buckner a new book. And, we and if we raise enough money, we could even get their school some books. I will have pictures of all their sweet faces in the hallway so you know who we are trying to buy books for. If you have any extra change or dollars, please bring it to school and donate to the All for Books in the library. When you donate, we will give you a slip of paper to put in the hallway under the pictures to show that you really wanted to help them. Let's show them Christ's love. I'm so excited about next week, and I hope you are too. Oh, and I almost forgot. Next Tuesday, not tomorrow, next week, is wear your favorite sport jersey or t-shirt with your favorite team on it. You can wear jean shorts or khakis or jeans that day, and wear a cap too if you want. We are going all star, so every reader is a star. So make sure you read. That's the buzz on books. Thanks, Ms. Hamilton. Time for some Bible trivia. Our last question was which two friends of Jesus took his body to prepare it for burial. Did you know this one? Did you guess Peter? What about Andrew? What about Matthew? Well, it wasn't any of the disciples. The answer is Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. They asked for the body of Jesus. Are you ready for a new question? Well, we have one for you. It's from the Old Testament. What animal tried to avoid an angel three times. Why was it trying to avoid an angel? Because the angel had a sword. Um, good idea. Okay, look up the answer in numbers in the Bible, or watch us next time to find out the answer. Time for Word of the Week. Are you ready to grow your brain? This week's word is inevitable. It means unavoidable or something you can't avoid. I'll use it in a sentence for you. It was inevitable that Tanner was going to be late for school since he didn't wake up till 7 a.m. Hey, I'm never late for school. A P.S. I did get up at 7 o'clock and school doesn't start till 8 o'clock. Um, I think she's just using that as an example, Tanner. I knew that. Okay, so remember the word is inevitable. Okay, that's another show down. Hope you enjoyed it. They'll be back on Wednesday to keep you on top of everything that's going on here at Legacy. Don't you think that's a little over the top, Tanner? You think? Thanks for watching!